Here on Wham Bam Dash Cam, we've shown you over a thousand dash cam videos sent in by our fans, and we serve up 20 new ones every week. Today, we're showcasing some of the craziest clips we've ever featured, so buckle up for Wham Bam Dash Cam's Worst Drivers of Florida, Volume 1. This submitter watched a small SUV attempt to cross a highway and get T-boned by an oncoming car. Our submitter noticed two other vehicles stopping, so he continued on. When he came back the other way 45 minutes later, police officers were reopening the road to normal traffic flow. Shelby sent us two clips, neither of them good. In this one, she was approaching a red light when the driver of a Honda, Honda bumped another Honda, which then Honda bumped Shelby's Kia Forte. Both Hondas were undrivable and had to be towed away. Shelby's dash cam footage proved invaluable in determining fault, but it still took two months for her to get her car fixed. Her total repair cost was 9,100 US dollars. Unfortunately, that wasn't the last time her Kia would be rear-ended. A week after getting her car back from the shop, Shelby was on her way home from work and was going the speed limit when the driver of a Buick following her rear-ended her car. This time, Shelby had to have her car towed because her rear bumper cover was making contact with a tire. It took another month to get her car fixed, and the total repair cost came to 2200 US dollars. She wanted to shout out her parents for picking her up at 1 a.m. and giving her an hour-long ride home. Carlo was driving down I-4 when the driver of a white Nissan Sentra, who had been driving recklessly, cut into his lane, forcing him to leave the road to avoid a collision. Carlo told us his hand was glued to the horn the whole time, but the Sentra driver didn't care. She then seemed to intentionally block Carlo from getting around her before speeding off. Carlo said when they were next to her, the Sentra driver seemed to be laughing about pushing them off the road. He thinks she did it on purpose. He reported her driving to the police and included this dash cam footage. This submitter noticed flashing lights behind him and immediately tried to get out of the way. Meanwhile, he watched a deputy up ahead deploy a spike strip. A Honda sped around him in a turn lane, swerving toward the deputy to avoid hitting the spikes before racing off. Our submitter stayed put while several more law enforcement vehicles followed in hot pursuit. The video doesn't show how the pursuit ended or even if the spikes were effective, but our submitter told us that they caught the guy. Justin watched someone run a stop sign very slowly. In spite of the swerving of the Honda CRV driver in front of him, the other driver still managed to detach their bumper cover. The driver of the Toyota then sped off, making this a hit and run. Justin shared his dash cam footage with the CRV driver, but sadly, the Toyota didn't have a front license plate. Lane had just finished another day of school. On his way to work, he was going about 35 miles per hour when he was suddenly cut off by a propane truck. Lane floored the brake pedal, skidding to a stop while honking. When he contacted the propane company to report what had happened, they didn't seem to think it was a big deal. John was headed to work one morning on I-95. As traffic was merging onto the interstate from the right, John merged left to give the drivers room. Sadly, he wasn't prepared for the driver of a semi-truck to merge twice, and by the time he realized what was happening, it was too late. Once contact was made between John's RAV4 and the truck's tires, the force of the rubber on the side of the SUV held it in place and kept John from steering away. Once he finally broke free, both drivers pulled over. The Florida Highway Patrol responded and cited the trucker for making an unsafe lane change. John is now waiting for a repair estimate, but he's already been told he's not at fault for the collision. Miguel was driving on a Saturday afternoon when he watched another driver turn left into the wrong lanes and end up facing the wrong way in a turn lane. After he honked at her, he watched her make a U-turn and end up behind him. Okay then. 
Marco had just left work when another driver merged into his lane after he'd sped up to pass them. Marco tried to avoid a collision, but when his front wheels hit the curb, it pushed him into the other car anyway. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Ivan watched a black pickup truck back into traffic. Incredibly, a sheriff's deputy was one of the drivers forced to stop for the pickup, and he repaid the driver with a serving of instant justice. Tyler was reaching into the back seat for something when another driver swerved into his lane and stopped so they could turn left from a straight only lane. When he swerved right to avoid rear-ending them, he was narrowly avoided by an ambulance that was in his blind spot. Amazingly, he managed to escape the situation unscathed. Watch what this emitter witnessed on his way home one night. Did you see that? Another driver continued straight from a turn lane and took out a sign that was in the median. Our submitter went back and made sure they were okay, but he noticed their right fender was heavily damaged. Will was driving on the first day of his spring break vacation when he was suddenly rear-ended. The driver who'd hit Will's Jeep Compass told him that a can of Lysol had become lodged under her brake pedal, preventing her from stopping. Thankfully, she pulled over instead of making a clean getaway. Tori was headed to get gas before her second work shift for the day when her Buick Encore suddenly rotated and she had to swerve to avoid hitting other traffic. Tori called 911, then got out of the road when instructed to by the emergency operator. The other driver took responsibility for causing the accident, and his insurance provider is handling the repairs to Tori's vehicle. The other car was undrivable after the impact. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries, although Tori is taking medication for back pain after being checked out at a hospital. This emitter was headed home after a long day of college classes when another driver suddenly entered the road ahead of him. Our submitter admits he was exceeding the speed limit when the collision occurred. Even so, the other driver admitted fault. Since our submitter couldn't find any damage to his Infiniti M35, they both agreed to let it go. This submitter had their dash cam running in parking mode while their Mercedes was in a parking lot. A clip was saved after the dash cam detected the loud noise of a Jeep colliding with a pickup truck. Our submitter told us both vehicles were there when he returned to his car, but he didn't know about the dash cam footage until later. If he had, he would have left a note for the pickup driver offering them his footage for an insurance claim. Isaiah was driving his Toyota 4Runner and was waiting in a center turn lane when he watched a pickup driver slam into the back of a car that was stopping at a traffic signal. Isaiah stopped and gave a copy of his dash cam footage to the driver of the Hyundai Elantra, who seemed to be okay. He thinks the Toyota Tacoma only needed a new bumper, but that the Hyundai was probably totaled. Ruben watched the driver of a Honda race a yellow light and get awarded the T-Bone Trophy. A turning Toyota got Honda bumped by the speeding Civic and got a furrowed fender and a dented door. Ruben stopped and offered his dash cam footage to both drivers and the police, but they all turned him down. Evan was driving down a highway when a Hyundai driver, distracted by an accident scene on the left, suddenly swerved into Evan's lane to avoid rear-ending a Mini Cooper. Evan dodged onto the shoulder to avoid being sideswiped, but he wasn't sure if contact had been made. Thankfully, he couldn't find any damage to his Jeep Grand Cherokee after stopping. 
Ricky captured this week's Tesla behaving badly, and it looks like this time, the Tesla driver got taught a little lesson. When the Tesla driver merged into the side of Ricky's lifted Ram 2500, her door made contact with his tire, marking up the door but leaving no damage to Ricky's truck. That, that Tesla man can't drive. Both drivers stopped and checked for damage. Since Ricky's truck was fine, they both agreed to part ways without any further action, except for sending his dashcam footage to Wham Bam Dashcam, that is. Danny loaned his Civic to a close friend whose own car was having some issues and needed to borrow it to get to work for a couple of days. When he called Danny one morning to tell him he'd accidentally hit a guardrail, Danny decided to check his dashcam footage to find out what had happened. What he discovered shocked him. His friend had been driving at night with the headlights off, drifting across lanes and eventually colliding with a guardrail just as he'd said. At one point, he was even driving around a cop car, but the officer either didn't notice or didn't care about his reckless driving. Danny told us he's just glad that his friend didn't kill himself or someone else. Fixing the damage to Danny's Civic cost 1,500 US dollars, but his friend paid for the repairs. Stefan was driving home when a white car sped past him before weaving around other traffic. The next thing he noticed was a huge cloud of dust filling the sky to the right of the highway. The other driver lost control while swerving between cars, spun out, and went off the road. Stefan pulled over to check on the driver, as did another driver right behind him. They were shaken up, but not injured. They admitted their aggressive driving had caused the incident. Other passersby called the police, and Stefan gave them a copy of his dashcam footage when they arrived. Chris was headed to get a haircut when the driver of a Nissan Rogue failed to yield and turned across his lane. Chris stood on the brake pedal, but it wasn't enough. When Chris's 1997 Toyota 4Runner slammed into the Rogue SUV, the impact sent the Toyota onto its side and totaled both vehicles. Chris was able to climb out of his car's sunroof with the help of some bikers who witnessed the crash. Both vehicles had to be towed away, and Chris is sad that his 4Runner was wrecked with the odometer fewer than 4,000 miles away from half a million miles. When police arrived, they found the Nissan driver at fault. Chris used the insurance settlement to buy a 2005 4Runner. Anthony was driving down a Florida interstate when he watched the driver of a black Camry swerve into the express lane without checking for other traffic. The driver of a silver Impala chose the least expensive option, running down a dozen pylons rather than getting sideswiped by the Camry. As the Impala driver then blocked the Camry in an attempt to force the driver to pull over, Anthony told us he could see obvious damage to the Impala caused by the collision with the pylons. The Camry driver managed to get around the Impala and continued down the highway with the Impala following close behind. Anthony eventually lost sight of them both, so he isn't sure what else happened. Wham! Man, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show.